and I'm gonna be making a what I eat in a day video. Um, so far today I've had a cup of, I think mint super maca green. Um, and I've also managed to drink a fair bit of water this morning already. I popped some lemon in there as well, just to give it a bit of flavor and help with the de detoxification of all of the crap that I've had over this weekend. And believe me, <sighs> so I think the last time I filmed was Friday, which was my wane day, which thank you to all you lovelies who pointed out that I didn't actually gain a full pound. It was like, a quarter of a pound or something um thank you for that but yeah so that was the last time that i filmed and literally from friday onwards until today which is monday i have stuffed my face full of sourdough bread takeaway pizza chips all sorts of stuff, I can't even think right now, but loads of chocolate, loads of sweets, loads of carbs, pasta, loads of cheese. Everything that basically makes me feel like poop. <laughs> like literally, it makes me feel so bad. Um, so, yesterday evening, I had some sweet potato fries with some corn chicken nuggets. Um, and after I finished my meal, I just felt so sick and like yesterday I had this really weird feeling all day. I felt hungover. I've not drank all weekend, but I felt hungover. It was exactly the same symptoms. I had a banging headache, felt sluggish, just sick. Honestly, it was insane. I, I had a food hangover for sure. Um, and it just goes to show, like, I was eating this food day in, day out. And mentally, I was in a really bad place. My, obviously, my weight had massively increased and I just was feeling rubbish. So, I don't want to do that to my body anymore. It's not a treat. It's harm. It's ha I'm harming myself. So... This, yesterday, I was like, right, this has got to stop now. Back on track. What are you doing, girl? Kind of give myself a little bit of a pep talk and said, okay, this week is going to be a great week. As of today, which is Monday the 3rd of May, I'm going to make sure I'm hydrating myself, drinking all my water. I'm going to make sure that I don't eat above my calorie goal. I'm going to make sure that the food that I'm putting into my body... It's like the richest form of medicine instead of a slow poison. And I'm just going to do what I can to be, be good to myself. Like, I just feel like I've treated, I've trapped my body like a garbage can over the weekend. And I feel like garbage. So, yeah, I'm well and truly over whatever mental little situation I was going on. Um, I overate every day massively all the wrong foods all the foods that make me feel like shit and i didn't track so here we are today's monday i'm not stressing about the weekend i'm focusing on today and focusing on all the good that's going to come this week um and i'm just going to really try my best throughout may so here we are and it is now 10 past 11 so I've had my water like I said I've had a fair amount of water already and that's kept me full probably along with all the food that's still sat in my tummy waiting to be digested from the weekend so I'm gonna have a protein shake for my lunch I'm just gonna say that the water that's filled me up Obviously, I need to, my body needs to readjust to drinking this amount of water again. I'd got really good at it and I was drinking at least 2.5 litres of water a day. My bladder had got used to it, holding that much liquid. So I wasn't like um, going to the toilet as frequently as I was to begin with. And yeah, so I'm starting, I'm starting again. But I will get there and I'm going to make it 
a really important part of my day to make sure I get my water. So, anything else to report? I did a grocery haul video, I will link it above. Um, and I did, uh, I tried a cardo out and I'm really pleased with it so far. I think, I think they're really good. I love their range of foods. Um, in particular, I'm so happy because look at that joyous box of orange, yellow and red and a little bit of green. But I'm so happy with this. Um, I'm just, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to tomatoes as we've probably <laughs> discovered and I'm so happy that I've got them in my life. There they are in the background. Um, and I am growing my own tomatoes, they're doing so well however today I need to go and get a new pot for them because they're, they're growing like champions and their roots are probably screaming for some more room. So we need some new pots, don't we, Jim? Indeed we do. I also got a mint in my grocery haul. Mint! <laughs> but yeah, so we've got this guy and this guy, and they need really big pots. Um, so at some point today I'm gonna go do that. But right now, I'm gonna make my protein shake. So let's get making lunch. So here's lunch which is 202 calories, 9 grams of carbs, 6.5 grams of fat and 25.2 grams of protein. So for a snack I've got these Fridge Raiders plant based veggie bites along with um, 23 grams of tomatoes with a little bit of salt sprinkled on the top. These on their own are 131 calories and this is 21 calories. The total nutritional situation for both of these together is 152 calories, 21.7 grams of carbs, 4.7 grams of fat and 4.2 grams of protein. So it is time to replant my tomatoes. So I just thought I'd give you one last look at them in these little pots before they go to their new home. Okay. Um... So we bought some pots that didn't have drainage holes in. Thanks Maria. It's alright. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to put some drainage holes in. Yeah, so I'm just using a little metal drill bit. So um, we thought you'd show it. you the tip for anybody that buys pots and you need to make drainage holes. You can just do them yourself. With a gym. And I've put a little plastic bag underneath so it doesn't get little black pieces of plastic all over my room. If anybody remembers Ludo, right? And then, we go, and then like, in the middle you had like a plastic thing and you pressed it and it popped to the dice and rolled the dice. I've just done that with the bottom of that and it's just popped all the plastic bits everywhere, so always good. We love Jim's memories. And it does anybody remember? <laughs> Ludo. Ludo. Is it Ludo? Probably not. Uh, it was something anyway, you had a little if someone can tell me that would be really good, it, it had like a little plastic dome in the middle and you and it, you clicked it, it must have been a metal base or something with a spring on it, you clicked it like that and <laughs> it shook the double dice in the middle. Oh, I, you know what, I, I do know what it's you're talking about. It's a I don't know. But oh, she's eating the uh, little black plastic bits. Oi, oi. Drop it. Stop eating everything non-organic, will you? No, I can't. Ew. <laughs> Plus only, only goes uh, orders from Love Your Veg or what's nah, it called? Floss is like, she doesn't care. I would, 
I, I were dropping bits of plastic from I taking the blinds off here earlier. Yeah. And um, I were cutting the bits of plastic. And she, oh, she's eating another. Right, I better go and stop her then, hadn't I? Yep. So here we go. It's taken a while, but they're finally repotted into their new pots. So we've got the sun gold one over here and the Roma plum, baby plum one here. I also replanted our mint and the little basil guy who I managed to bring back to life. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. I'm going to probably get some more herbs and whatnot. I might like to grow some peppers as well, so we'll see. I might make this whole sort of windowsill into a little plant um, growing area, which I think is quite cool. So it's 20 past three and I'm feeling pretty peckish, so I've just made myself a snack. So I've got three of the Kalo organic rice cakes with a little bit of dairy free sunflower spread and some cucumber and salt on the top and then I'm going to have half of these boost ball protein bites. Um, I think there's about, I think there's about four in a pack so I'm going to have half so I'll just have two. So the entire um, nutritional information for this snack is 191 calories, 22.1 grams of carbs, 8.3 grams of fat and 7.4 grams of protein. It's now just gone five o'clock and I am hungry so I'm gonna get making dinner and I'm very very excited because for dinner this evening we're gonna try the um, Charlie Bingham's vegetable lasagna and it just looks so delicious so I can't wait to try that so me and Jim are gonna have half each alongside a salad so let's get making dinner meal um, it smells absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to try the vegetarian lasagna um, so the total calories for this meal are 663 there's 47.5 grams of carbs 37.6 grams of fat and 20.3 grams of protein and that also includes my drink which is the pure earth sparkling uh, water kefir which is a lemon and spirulina flavour. I also just thought I'd show you these which I added to the top of the salads. Um, I used 25 gram of these and that was plenty um, just in replacement of the crispy onions that I have been using. So this is how well I've done with my water so far today. I've managed to get it to 3 p.m. I've not got too much left to go and I'm pretty certain that I will finish it but I'll let you know in tomorrow's video. The only thing that I haven't shown you in today's is going to be my dessert which is going to be one of the Cocoa Collab Mango and Passion Fruit Pots, some raspberries and some blueberries. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete my diary. So, if every day was like today, in five weeks, I'd weigh 14 stone, 3.6. So, that's it for today's video. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm hoping to do as many What I Eat In Day videos this week as possible because it really does help me stay on track. If you have liked today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really does make me smile. Um, and until next time, stay happy, healthy and well. 